and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is had number linked lists which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given two head of linked list different linked list two heads with the name as num1 and num2 and what we have to do so basically these num1 and num2 linked list will be representing the numbers okay if we can see here this num1 linked list is having four and then five node four node then five node okay and we will treat this as a number so this linked list is representing 45 okay all right then the num2 linked list number is 3 then 4 then 5 okay 3 node is pointing to 4 4 node is pointing to 5 so it is representing the number 3 4 5 okay and we have to find the sum of them okay so if i will try to sum these two numbers sum will be 390 okay sum will be 390 and we will represent 3 we will return 390 in the form of linked list okay each number in a new node each digit in a new node okay so our output will something look like 3 node pointing to 9 node and then it pointing to 0 node okay all right and this will be my new head which we will return this will be my head which i will return and like basically 3 is pointing to 9 9 is pointing to 0 so we can get the whole number if we will return the head okay so this is what the problem requirement is this is what the problem statement is okay so i think the problem statement is pretty basic as well now how are we going to approach this look the first issue which we can find here is basically 4 5 is one number and 2 3 4 5 is another number and if you will do addition you will know that in addition we first of all sum we first of all add the last two digits we first of all add the last two digits then uh, add the number result as well whatever it is and then we move to the next digits so basically it will be this and we will also have to store the carry as well so like basically 5 5 10 so i will write 0 but the carry will be 1 okay and then again these two pointers 4 4 which is 8 and then plus 1 9 so it will be 9 okay and then we will move to the next previous digits as well so here the previous digit is nothing and here the previous digit is 3 carry is also currently 0 so total number will be 390 and then we have to return it okay so the first issue which i told we have to start doing addition from the very last but we are given the head pointer we are given the head pointer so how we can tackle this look uh, let's quickly move on to one note one note app is there so we will try to discuss it there because many of you have told it is not good to explain here it's not clear so let me go to that okay here all right let me use a pen very very easy it is now look first thing if we can somehow wrote reverse this link list so that we can know which digit to add because if we want to add from the last in link list it will become very tough it will become very tough okay so first of all what i will do i will simply make a function to reverse the link list and then we will reverse the both the link list okay reverse num1 and it will return me the new head and that head will be the reverse one and then we will also do reverse num2 which will also give me the second head of the reverse link list okay so on getting the head my new link list will something look like 45 will now be converted to 54 okay and then 345 will be converted to 5 4 3 very very easy it is now and this is my first pointer h1 and this is h2 second pointer now we just have to make a new link list how we will make first of all my current link list is null okay then what i will do these both are there so both have value both nodes are not null simply get the values of them okay and let's suppose my current link list is null current link list is null okay because there is nothing for now okay now i will try to get the sum of it sum of it is sum is basically 10 here okay sum is 10 so what i will look there will be two things first one will be the sum is 10 so here we have to abstract extract whatever it is we have to extract two values first one is the carry and second one is the digit which we are going to make a new node okay so carry will be what carry will be divided by 10 and uh, digit will be modulus 10 okay so sum is 10 the carry 
will be what? Uh, carry is equal to sum divided by 10, which will be equal to 1. Okay. And digit which we are making will be sum modulus 10. So 10 modulus 10 will be 0. Okay. So I will make a new node with 0. Okay. This is my new node. And what I will do, this node, let's say whatever its name is, its name is now TMP. For now, its name is TMP. I will simply do TMP dot next is equal to current. Okay. And then I will update my current to this. Then I will update my current to this. Okay. So let me do control Z quickly. So it is pointing to this. Well, basically current is null. So it is pointing to null. Okay. This zero is pointing to null, which is the first node. And now my current is this. My current is this. Okay. Again, I will update these pointers. I will update this pointer. Four will be, this will be updated here. This will be updated here. Now again, I will try to do the sum. Four, four, eight plus one carry nine. Okay. So for now, the sum is nine. The sum is nine. Carry will be what? Sum modulus, sum divide by 10, which is zero. And digit will be what? Digit will be sum modulus 10. The remainder will be nine only. So now I will make a new node with nine. Okay, this node is created, which name is for now TMP. Again, I will do TMP dot next is equal to current. Okay, and now current is equal to TMP. So current will be now pointing to this node 9. Okay, again, I will update the pointers. So this first pointer will be now null and uh, this and the second pointer will be pointing to 3. Okay, so the first pointer is null here uh, and second pointer is currently 3. So the total sum will be 3. Again, the carry will be 0. Again, the carry will be 0. And now we will make a new node with sum 3. Okay, so the, there is a new node with 3. Again, we will do the same process. This name is TMP. TMP dot next is equal to current and then current will be updated. So now in this way, you can see I have made a new linked list and like basically we are inserting the new element at the first. So here what we are doing, we are just inserting the new element at first, first index because we don't have to reverse it again. Otherwise, first of all, zero node was there. Then we will take nine node. Then we will make three nodes. So it's like reversed. It's reversed. And then again, we have to reverse it before sending. But now we have avoided that with the inserting at the first node. Okay. So yeah, that was it. And uh, I think reversing is something which you should know. And I have already made a video on it. So I think everyone should go and watch it. Okay. Uh, I will just explain it a bit here. So look. If you will see 0063, this is a node and we have to reverse it. Let me quickly make it here 0063. Okay. Something like this and this. Okay. So now, how we can reverse it? First of all, uh, I'm currently at this node. Okay. So now look, instead of 0, instead of current node pointing to the next node, I have to make it point to the previous node. Okay. So I will now point it to the previous node. Previous node is nothing. So I will write null here. But now look, I have lost the connection to the next node. Okay. So for that, first of all, I will store the next uh, node in any variable, let's say any node, which is next. Okay. So let's say this next node is pointing to the next node. Okay. And this is my current. And uh, this is my TMP. TMP is basically previous node. Okay. TMP is previous node. Current is current node and next is the next node. Okay. So now what I will do, I will simply update my current. So current will be pointing to zero. Next will be pointing to six. Okay. And something like this. And now TMP will be pointing to zero. This is my TMP. Okay. Again, what I will do, this current node next is pointing to six. Instead of that, I will make it point to the previous node which is zero, something like this. Okay. And now again, update all these things. Current will now be pointing to six. Next will be pointing to three and TMP will be now pointing to this zero. Okay. Again, what I will do, I will do the same thing. This next is removed here. So current dot next will be now equal, is currently three, but I will make it point to the TMP, something like this. And now, um, Again, update all the three nodes. I think it's very, very easy to reverse the link list. And I've also given you the context. But now when I will write the code of it, it will become crystal clear to you. But if this solution, if this approach is clear, I think this explanation deserve a 
follow uh, deserve a subscribe so please subscribe the channel and like the video and uh, now let's move on to the code section but before that i have made a very cool chrome extension for you with which you can watch the tutorials on this screen only instead of moving to youtube then searching it here and then watching it we have made this tutorial with which watch tutorial button will appear both on lead code and geeks for geeks the link is in the pinned comment you can try it okay so here reverse list code i have already written because I've explained this and it's not the part of this problem. Okay. So now what I will do, first of all, I will simply make two nodes L1, which will return me the reverse list of uh, num1. And similarly, I will return node L2, which will reverse list the M2, num2. Okay. All right. And after that, very, very easy it is. I will simply, I have to make few more nodes. Let's quickly make them. Uh, another node is, let's say, um my current which is null okay and anything and, and another thing is carry which is currently zero and uh, let's quickly start it and when i will get some new need to insert to make view variables i will make it at that point okay so now while l1 not equal to null and or or l2 not equal to null basically any one is there so i will keep on doing that now i will first of all get the value so v1 is equal to what if l1 not equal to null my value will be l1 dot data otherwise it will be zero okay same thing i will do with l2 so here v2 and if l2 is equal to not equal to null it is l2 dot data otherwise zero i think very very basic it is now my sum will be what sum will be v1 plus v2 plus carry okay all right now I have to update my carry and my sum as well like basically two points if you remember i will break my sum in two parts first one is the carry and second one is the value like the value which i will take here you, you can see now ki 5 5 10 so one will be carry and zero i have to insert okay so carry will be basically update let's say update carry will be uh, sum um, divide by 10 that will be my carry okay now i will make a new node which is tmp is equal to new node and its value will be what its value will be what its value will be some modulus 10 okay very very simple it is i think and uh, after that if you remember what i told tmp which is my new node dot next is equal to current current is basically null at this point and after that i will update my current to tmp so we are basically inserting at the first position so that we don't have to reverse at the last and uh, now we will just update my l1 and l2 so if l1 not equal to null l1 is equal to l1 dot next similarly i will do the same thing for l2 i'm just writing this code after a long time so let's hope it doesn't get wrong anywhere l2 dot next okay and after that when i will come out of this loop there can be a chance ki my carry is still one there can be a chance where my carry is still one i think we can handle this here only or or carry is greater than one so if carry is greater than zero so if any of these is true we will simply go inside it and update the nodes and all okay when i will come out of this loop here we just have to return my current basically current will be pointing the new head but there is one issue if you will see here there can be leading zeros in the input list but there should not be any leading zeros in the output list okay so we have to remove some leading zeros how we are going to do that very very simple it is while current is not equal to null and and current dot data is equal to zero simply do current is equal to current dot next okay let's try to compile this once to check if i have not done any silly mistakes and also it's very late night i'm making very late video also a bit tired from office so please subscribe the channel and like the video 
I think you can do this bare minimum. This code will be present on my GitHub. The link is in the description of this video. So make sure to check it on GitHub and uh, follow me on GitHub as well. Start the repo, start the repo. And uh, yeah, it's getting accepted. Very, very basic code is there. Just a bit tricky implementation and it's always with the linked list. So I think you have to, as much problems you will solve of linked list, you will become that better. And yeah, that was it for today. I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, subscribe the channel, like the video and bye.